A few weeks ago, I was watching my buddy Tom over at Team Aquatics. He got some really cool new rare plecos in, and he's using his uh, dwarf neon rainbow fish as some dither fish. And I just happened to drop a comment on his uh, video and asked him if they ever happened to spawn for him because I don't know if you guys know this or not, but I really wanted to get in some breeding. He was nice enough to reach out to me super quick. We exchanged a few emails and well, let's get to it. It's finally time to get this project started and uh, I've been waiting to do something like this for a long time. Uh, if you guys have been following for a while, this 220 gallon aquarium probably not going to be here for long. I really, really want to do some breeding in the fish cave. It's something that really got me into you know, fish in the first place. So I want to take it in that direction and that is exactly what this is. The beginnings of a breeding project with some dwarf neon rainbow fish, the Praycox rainbows. Uh, it's actually Sunday, August 25th. They're arriving tomorrow. I want to document this process. A big shout out to Tom over at TM Aquatics for uh, hooking me up and getting a huge jump start. Uh, not only with the actual eggs that arrive tomorrow, like I said, but uh, just a bunch of tips about you know how to do it. And actually, what I want to explain in this video is the four different uh, setups we're going to get started with in order to raise these eggs. That's right, we're getting eggs in the mail on some spawning mops and we're going to attempt to raise them and then maybe even breed those eventually as well, which will be super cool. So like I said, I got four different setups going on here because like I said, trial and error. You know, I've done some research. Tom's done some hands-on research for me, but obviously I got to do my own research as well. So the first tank is a 10-gallon tank and I've got three gallons of some distilled water. So I don't have an RO system, but I'm gonna try out with some distilled water. Uh, we've got a heater running in there. I just filled it up. I'm gonna try to get that temperature uh, around 82 and keep it there. Uh, second tub here is gonna be just a white plastic tub. Now, this was not brand new, but I did clean it out. Once again, I got a heater. There's only a gallon of water in here. You know, can I do it in a smaller container? This is gonna be a little shallower. Um, do I need that depth? I don't think I'm gonna need that much water, but. I'm also afraid that the water is gonna get too hot. A few different reasons for you know trying out different ways here, and I'm hoping that eventually I'll figure out which one works best for me, and then kind of you know go with that. And uh, even with these, I'm gonna consolidate them pretty quick. You know, uh, I'm only gonna keep them in these kind of containers here until they become free swimming for a while, and then I got other plans, and we'll get that in another video. But let's take a look at the other two setups I have. These two right here are in the fish cave. The other two I'm keeping in the house, like I said, just to test some different things out. Let's go check a look at those. Here we are in the dining room, and uh, this room, you guys haven't seen before. I barely ever see this room. Uh, we're gonna see a little more of it now because we got these two setups in here. Once again, very similar setup. This is a 2.5 gallon tank that I have uh, filled with two gallons of water, and I use tap water on this. So not distilled water, I use tap water, and then I conditioned it. So I'm gonna try out tap water on this one, and then this one, I went with distilled water again. It's just a shoebox. And I put a gallon of water in here with a heater once again, and I'm gonna monitor this. So my goal is try a few different things, mostly distilled, try one tap water, you know, see if I can regulate the temperature outside versus inside, and uh, you know, not put all our eggs in one basket or in one tank in this case. All right, guys, so the package has arrived. Got my knife here, gonna open it up with you guys. Now this package is from Tom over at TM Aquatics. Huge, huge shout out to Tom over at TM Aquatics for this. If you haven't checked out Tom's channel, please do so. I'm gonna link it in the bottom. And oh, ho, ho, ho. oh man, you are too kind, Tom. This is a ton of pearl weed. I don't know if you can tell, it's condensed, but this is like a, a ton of nice pearl weed. Looks like we have a vial here of uh, some food. So we hooked it up with some golden pearl food. A nice package here with some newspaper. And oh, there is the, the payload. Nice, not a single drop, no leaks. Now these are a bunch of dwarf rainbow eggs. And there's a bunch of mops full of eggs in here. So we're gonna get these out and see how they look. Everything looks great, Tom. No issues with the packing whatsoever. Not an ounce of water. Um, let's, let's take a closer look. As you can see here, I've opened up the first bag and Tom put a bunch of bags, that way there was no leaks. So the first bag open, I actually cut open a few bags with my knife, um, but there was no, no leaks whatsoever. It's hard to see if the eggs are still viable or not. 
Um, we're going to put them in this container here and see what we can do. There we go. Like I said, he put in five plus mops, I think, because a lot of a lot of eggs, a lot of mops here. So we'll have to go through and see. And we're gonna put them in like four different containers. Remember, we're gonna separate these mops in different containers. That way, um, you know, we're given the best opportunity for survival. Oh, okay. Now I'm starting to see the eggs. I just really started to see the eggs through there. Okay, let's see. These are tiny, holy smack. Tom, man, yeah, there's plenty of eggs here. They look fine. Um, let's see if you can see this. I'm gonna have to go through this really fine. You can see on my finger here, there's tiny, tiny eggs. But let me get to work and we'll start sorting them out. Holy crap, this is fun, this is gonna be awesome. Here we are in the garage with these two uh, containers out here. And let's go ahead, as you can see, we got the temperature raised up in here. The temperature of the water they came in was actually pretty warm, which is not a bad thing. I don't, I didn't measure the exact temperature, but I, uh, I put my hand in each, this container, and then the ones I have here and here and inside that are about, you know, 83 degrees, and they seem about the same temperature, which is good. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna separate some of the eggs out individually. I'm gonna leave some on the mop. You know, there's a ton of eggs here. I, I mean, I look through, and at first glance, like, oh, there's a good amount of eggs. Then you really start looking, you can really see all the eggs and all the different levels of the mop, you know, up near the top of the mop. I mean, just kind of sprung all throughout the mop. So I'm gonna go ahead and make sure all the mops, you know, get in water, but then I'm gonna also go through and, um, you know, pick out some eggs individually and try to separate the eggs as much as possible, kind of get them individually, um, you know, scattered. That way they don't fungus up. I'm gonna work on some of that. If you weren't sure how much pearl weed he gave us, you know, this is just a small portion that's already starting to expand here a little bit. And uh, we got some green water in this tub, which may play into what we're doing here with the, uh, the fry once they hatch eventually. But here's some more of it in this bag. And like I said, it's, he really compacted it in there. So there's just a ton, a ton of this pearl weed. So we're gonna put some here and then probably put some in the fish cave. Tom, once again, man, I can't thank you enough for this, hooking us up big time. Guys, he literally only asked us to pay shipping on everything you saw there, and uh, he wouldn't take any more money. So big shout out to Tom over at TM Aquatics. Check out his channel in the link below. Um, he has these rainbow fish, so if you wanna see the parents, they're awesome, they're beautiful, check them out. But actually what he's really cool, and what, he, well, what he's really into, and what he really has some cool stuff is, is Pleco. So if you're into like the really cool, expensive, rare plecos and some really cool shrimp, both uh, Neo Caradina and, and Caradina, check out his channel below. And be sure to stay tuned here as we're going to have updates as these eggs are starting to hatch. As always, stay positive and stay passionate.